Hey guys, so I am leaving work right now to go ahead and get my lip injections. Um, I have gotten my lips done quite a few times, probably six to seven times. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over there. Uh, it usually takes about 45 minutes to an hour because they really do work with me and talk to me about what I want. I show them pictures. Um, and they just do a bunch of like little injections at a time, just to make sure everything's even and looks good and I'm happy with it. Um, so I'll check back with you guys right after they're done so you can look at them. And then I'll go over some aftercare tips, um, just some important things you need to know about pricing, aftercare, um, how to find the right person, if this is for you, and some of my not so great <laughs> times that I've gotten lip injections. Um, this is what they look like right now. So I still have some filler in from last time. I got it done about six or seven months ago. I know it usually lasts 12 plus months, um, but where I go, they keep your syringe for up to six months if you don't use the whole thing. So I still have half a syringe left since I only got half last time. So I'm going back just to use the rest of the half. They will inject it anywhere. They don't care where you use the syringe. So if you have extra filler, you can fill in smile lines or any other imperfections, but I just use it in my lips. So I will check back with you guys when I am done. So I just got numbed. Um, I put it on my lips all around as well. And they're gonna wait about five, 10 minutes. And then um, the person doing it's gonna come back in and I'm gonna tell her what I want and show her some pictures and then she'll start injecting. So I just got done. They gave me some ice and some Aquaphor to put on it. Um, they do recommend they don't put any lipstick, lip gloss or anything on for 24 hours. So this is what it looks like. I have a little bit of redness from the injection spots. Um, I do bruise really easily and I do bleed a lot when I get injections. It's nothing to do with the person. It's just like if I run into my coffee table, my leg is literally bruised for like two weeks. It's just how I am. Um, so I will check in with you guys later. I just want to show you uh, what I look like right after I got out of the office. Okay, I am back. It's been about an hour and a half since I got the injections done. This is what it's looking like. I think I'm gonna have a little bruising right there. Okay, so I wanted just to go over some pricing, some tips, um, things they told me I need to do. Um, so let me open my list real quickly. So what they tell you after for aftercare is do not work out, do not drink, do not take Advil, ibuprofen, any of that for at least 24 hours. They did tell me that Tylenol is okay, um, but other forms of painkillers will cause more bruising. And I'm very prone to bruising, so I don't want to mess with that. Um, they also had a new rule that they didn't want me to put lip gloss, lip balm, or lipstick on for 24 hours, so they did give me a mini aquaphor. They said that's okay. That is a new rule, so I don't know um, how everyone feels about that, um, but I'm definitely just gonna adhere to that. Another thing I have is also on the medications, don't take any cold or flu medication. I did that the second to last time I got lip fillers and I bruised so badly. It lasted almost two weeks. It looked like I had a like mustache. My bruising was so bad. It was up here, it was in my lips, all because I took like Tylenol cold and sinus or something like that and it was not pretty <laughs> so make sure you don't take any medication the day of I try to avoid anything and then I was also told maybe you don't take fish oils a couple days leading up um, that's just what my grandma told me I don't know if that's true um, but just certain vitamins like fish oils that can make um, your blood thinner because your lips are so vascular so next I also wanted to mention that I use Juvederm Ultra Plus. So there's normal Juvederm, there's that one, there's Vobella, I think there's a new one called Versa. So you have quite a few options and what they do is they kind of have like a board laid out and they have samples of each one in these little pouches and that way you can feel them and that's how it would feel in your lips. So you can feel how natural or how solid something would feel. Um, so obviously you want to go more natural. Um, so I did Juvederm Ultra Plus and where I go, it is $650 a syringe. Um, I think that's kind of middle level. I don't think it's too bad. And what they do 
is they actually let you save anything that you did not use for up to six months and then you can come back and use the rest of it. Um, I didn't actually use a full syringe. This is the second time I went back using that syringe and I probably had a fourth left. Um, I just didn't really have anywhere that I wanted to put it. Um, so it did go to waste, but that's the first time I didn't use a full syringe in two visits. Cause I usually do about half a syringe each visit. And again, I just do it uh, twice a year, once every six months. Um, so filler in general lasts anywhere from, I'd say six months. To even 18 months depending on how you metabolize it. I think I metabolize it a little more quickly. I'm on the six to nine months, maybe because I'm younger, I'm not sure, but I know the average is about a year. Um, I know you can get filler in the jawline, your smile lines, under eye, um, there's a lot of places you can get it, um, but I just stick to my lips and then I do Botox occasionally um, on my crow's feet, but I'm really overdue on that, but I don't really see that as a priority right now because I am 25, um, but I do really enjoy my lip injections. I think it made a big difference in my appearance. Um, I started doing it when I was about 22 and a half, 23, and sometimes I do take breaks from it, just kind of what I'm feeling, and it's not cheap, so I really have to like weigh uh, the cost and how much I want it as well. Um, and so where I went is the Aesthetic Specialty Center in Roswell, Georgia. Um, and honestly, any of the women there are so great. Um, they always have someone there with them to use that little vibrating thing um, to help kind of calm you down. I had like a little stress ball. Um, there's really like nurturing and caring. And I also did numbing, of course. Always do the numbing. I don't understand how anyone can do that without numbing. So just make sure you do that first. Then they usually wait about 20, 30 minutes and then they start injecting. Um, so what she did for me is she started on my bottom and she did three or four injections and then she did three or four on this side and then after every little one she would kind of like step back, ask me to smile, um, open my mouth, do different like motions so that she can make sure that it looks good and even. And then she went to the top. I will say when you get closer to the cupid's bow it gets a lot more painful. I did get a little teary. Um, but I have no pain tolerance. Like I don't have any tattoos. I could never. I'm such a baby. Um, so it does get a little painful, I think. But again, low pain tolerance. Um, so next, I want to talk about um, how they can also even out any asymmetry. Um, I did notice my smile was just a little crooked. Um, so she did fill this side a little more. And that way, when I do smile, everything is symmetrical, even plump, everything looks good. Um, she's also very conservative. I did bring her pictures. I always use Olivia Colpo as my lip inspiration. Her lips look so good and so full when she smiles and when they're closed. Um, so I always show them they love um, seeing pictures of what you want, so definitely bring that. And then they also have a mirror there for you so that you can look every step of the way to make sure you like it, what areas you don't like, what they want, what you want fixed, or if maybe you want more somewhere, um, they definitely work with you. So make sure that you're very vocal about what you want um, because I mean, you are paying them quite a lot of money and it is your face. Um, so it is something to be vocal and really um, think about. I think that's all I have. Um, just make sure, you know, with the drinking and any ibuprofen, just be careful because it does thin your blood. And again, the lips are very vascular. So just make sure you avoid things like that. If you don't want to bruise or bleed, I mean, I could walk into my coffee table and I have a bruise for like 10 to 14 days. Um, so some people are just prone and that's that. Um, but other than that, I think that is my video. Here's another close up. I might check back in in a couple days, especially if I bruise, just to show you guys, or even if I don't bruise, just so you can see what it looks like. Um, so thank you for watching. I might be back with another clip, I don't know. Uh, but if not, thanks guys. And I wanted to come back on here real quickly just to say that you do need to remember to ice. Um, you need to ice on and off. Uh, I'd maybe say 20 minutes on, 30 minutes off, and do that all night. And into the next day, if you are swelling, I've even taken my ice packs to work because I don't mess around with the swelling. 
and you're probably gonna be a little swollen for another 24 to 48 hours. It's funny because I get used to how big they look when they're swollen and then I actually really like them, which is probably just a body dysmorphia issue that I have, but I end up liking them swollen and how big they are and then they start going down and then I'm actually kind of upset about it. <laughs> um, but they will go down. Um, as you can see, this looks a little swollen right now. Right here, yeah, I can feel how swollen it is. It's not as bad on there. Um, so maybe she just hit a little more blood vessels there. Um, but again, the swelling is going to go down. Um, so don't freak out if you think that it's too big or you look like a duck or something crazy. Like, give it at least a week. And if you have any issues, you can always go back. Um, actually, the place I do go, they do recommend that you make a follow-up appointment for a month after. Um, I've never needed it because I've always been very happy with my results. I didn't have any problems or spots to, ch um, you know, just touch up a little bit. Um, but don't be afraid to be vocal. Once again, it is really important. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off again. I've been up since 5 a.m. It's now 6.30 p.m. Really tired, look tired. This is not cute. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off and then I'll probably check back in a day or two. Just give a little update about what I look like. Thanks guys. Hey guys, quick check in on my lips. So it has been a little less than 24 hours and I am getting some bruising. Um, so I'll show you up close. You can just see where the needle marks, like where the needles went in. Right there. Um, so overall it's really not that bad. Um, so I'll check in probably one more time and disclaimer. I know I wore leopard yesterday. I swear I don't only wear animal print <laughs> um, But I just wanted to show you guys since I am in daylight I'm on my lunch break real quickly um, So honestly, it's not that bad No one's really said anything at work. So that's good um, So I will keep you posted Hey guys, so this is my last check-in. It's been a little over 24 hours, so I can finally drink, work out, wear lipstick, lip gloss, whatever I want. Um, so I'm about to head out and go to dinner with some friends, but I'll do a quick check-in. So as you can see, I still have the little needle points. Um, I do already have a scar, so that's why it looks raised. I have a scar already there, um, but just a little bit of needle points. Honestly, nothing crazy. Um, now that I can wear lipstick, I can just cover it up and no one will notice. Um, so that is it for my video. Uh, please comment down below if you're thinking about getting lip injections, if you have any questions for me, or just your experience in general if you want to share, and please subscribe to my channel. Bye guys!